From nude cruises to resort getaways, more people are exposing themselves to the clothing optional vacation. There's a bunch of people that like being naked. Here's the naked truth. The popularity of nude tourism has doubled in the last 20 years. Today, it's a $440 million industry. About an hour north of Phoenix, Arizona, you'll find Shangri-La Ranch, a favorite spot for Joe Lipnicki. My two daughters go, how can you do that? It's easy, it's a frame of mind. As people become more adventurous, Patty Faber says the resort and campground continues to grow. A lot of people will come out and celebrate their birthday in their birthday suit. You undress to unstress. Guests say it's not about sex, rather a chance to escape the shallowness of society. We don't judge people by their body type and what they look like. It's all about your personality. And more than half are first-time visitors, usually from out of town. Because they don't want to run into their neighbor, they don't want to run into their boss. Well, what does it matter if you do? It's not like you're going to go with it back to the office and go, Hey, Joe, saw you at the resort last weekend. So if you're a nudie newbie, here's a list of things to keep in mind. First, ease into it. Don't feel forced to go all natural all at once. Next. Never sit on anything without a towel between you and whatever you're sitting on. Third, don't stare. Yes, the eyes have a tendency to wander, but you're going to have more intense conversations because you're really looking people in the face. And fourth, don't be a shutterbug. This is not a peep show. Do you find that after a while you kind of get used to it? Like you're looking at people oh, and you absolutely. forget? Oh, absolutely. You, you, don't even, you don't even think about it. It's second, it's second nature. Uncovering the world of nude recreation on The Breakdown.